What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And we got ourselves a great team today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Landorus team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Jacob, thank you so much for dropping this team for me. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to leave me teams, head down to the link in the description below. Jeans underscore YouTube on my Instagram page. Just Click that link, follow me on Instagram, DM me your teams, and maybe I'll get back to you. I try to get back to everybody and let them know if I'm using a team or not. But, yo, rocking out on this team, we got a bunch of cool Pokemon. But we're starting off with Talonflame. Talonflame is an awesome lead, considering it has that Tailwind, and then it has that Gale Wings ability alongside with the Safety Goggles. We can also taunt Trick Room users or other Pokemon that we just want to taunt. And then we got Brave Bird and Flare Blitz for Stab. So, very great Pokemon to lead off here. Over on the right side, we got ourselves Justified Arcanine and the Assault Vest item. We haven't seen this combo in a good bit. I feel like it was big in like seasons one to three. Everyone used to use the Justified Arcanine and roll out with it and absolutely dominate. But ever since more Pokemon have been coming in the game, we've been seeing less and less of this. So we're bringing it back. We also have the Dragapult down there to actually trigger that thing's uh, Justified ability with the beat up. The Arcanine has a moveset of the Flare Blitz, the Extreme Speed, Wild Charge, and Close Combat. That's like a fairly normal moveset for him. And then the Dragapult has a moveset of Phantom Force, the beat up, Thunder Wave, and Alice, which I absolutely love that move set because Dragapult can also roll as a support mod instead of just hitting hard and outspeeding everybody he can also t-wave paralyze and just slow everyone down and control the match right behind my face cam we got the one and only metagross clear body with that weakness policy you guys already know plenty about that i think absolutely dominates if you trigger that thing's weakness policy it is going to steamroll with you that's iron head ice punch eq and protect Bottom left corner, the Life Orb Landers. This one kind of threw me off at first because you always seen Choice Scarf. You were always seeing Choice Scarf. This is my first time seeing a Life Orb one, so this one's going to be fun to use. It's ground and flying, so we have actually EQ for stab and fly for stab that turns into Max Air Stream, Max Quake. So we get the speed boost and special defense boost. Then we have our rock side for our coverage move. We can drop a rock and we can actually change weather if we want with him. And then in the bottom right corner is also another great Pokemon for this team. We got ourselves Rotom Wash over here, Electrical Water Typing with Hydro Pump and Thunderbolt for stab. And then we also got Will O Wisp to actually pester up on those physical attackers and half their damage with a burn. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Renata the Code is at the bottom of the screen. We're going to get after it right now. We're going to hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and the first thing I noticed, I don't know if it's always been like this, but look at his Tornadus. I think it's Tornadus. It has Landorus colors. I'm a little confused by that. You guys see it? It's his third Pokemon down. I see he has Thunderous all the way on the bottom, but then he has Landorus color... But Tornadus, like you guys see it, like look at my Landorus. We have him on the bottom left. And then look at his Tornadus. I don't know. That's a little confusing. Is it always like that? Or the color scheme just messed up? It looks exactly like it, just in a different pose. But this guy also has the Cinerace, the Indeedy, the Titar, the Glarian Moltres, and the Thunderous. So we're going to have to get rolling up against this. Um, If he has Tornadus, that's definitely a Tailwind Pokemon. So I got to lead Talon Flame here. Kind of match that speed and get rolling from there. Oh, dude, Arcanine would rock out strong here. Arcanine would be great here. I think we're going to go Landers. I think we're going to keep Arcanine out here. I think we go, uh, do we really need Burns? Actually, let's go Town play Rotom. We can burn up. And we go Landorus and I think Metagross. I think that's totally fine. Because Rotom can burn some big physical attackers here, which I would actually really, really like. Yeah, so let's go Metagross here and get along with it. I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking that a lot. But yeah, that is so weird. Like, that's the first thing I noticed. It's like, is that Landorus? Or is it, like, Thunderous? It looks exactly like Landorus, but it just posed differently. So, hopefully he brings it along and we can actually see exactly what it is. That'd be weird if it's a Landorus. That would be weird. I'd be like, why is that, uh, the little, what is it? What is it, Sprite? Yeah, that's what they call The little Sprite. Why is it like that? That's a little weird, but... First battle, hopefully we can start off with a win, get rolling here strong. We got the Rotom uh, Washer here, so we can put on burns on Pokemon. He goes with Cinderace and Indeedee. Can we burn a Cinderace? I don't think we can throw our Willowist on Cinderace. That'd be huge. That'd be huge. But I say that Cinderace outspeeds us. Actually, no, we're going to go into Tailwind. Because of Psychic Search. That thing can actually trick him, but I don't think it is going to trick him. I really don't see it tricking him. We cannot go into a Brave Bird, I don't think. Because that would be first time priority. I am still going to go into a Tailwind. And do we think... What's Rotom's speed? I don't think we can burn him. I don't think we can burn him. He's fire typing. It's 151. So he is going to outspeed. I can just drop a Tailwind and roll into a uh, Hydro Pump. What other Pokemon is he have that's going to eat up this Hydro Pump? I think we just drop a Hydro Pump. I think that's a safe play to go into. Yeah, we're just going to drop this Hydro Pump. We got those Gale Wings. Tailwind's definitely going to come out here first. And we win! Let's get it! <laughs> 
I have no idea what that was about, but we take those. We take those victories. We we're 1-0 sitting here, hopping into our second battle. We just hopped in there, went for it. I feel like our play was nice. I feel like we were going to get off a solid Hydro Pump, regardless if he swapped in or stayed in. If he stayed in, Cinderace was dead. If he swapped out, we are still doing big damage. But he just quit and ended the battle, which I'm totally fine with. I'll take that victory on my record. But we're hopping into our second battle here. He has Thunderous, Grimstarl, Tapu Fini, Rotom Heat, Garchomp, and Kartana. Okay. Um, no Tailwind users. Actually, can Tornadas go into a Tailwind? I feel like we'd be fine with just going Pult and Arcanine. Because then I could T-Wave and just pester around. He might pop screens. I say we bring Landers in the back end and then Rotom Heat. Or Rotom Wash. I feel like Rotom Wash can come in here. Or do I go into Metagross? I think Rotom's going to come in here a little bit better. Because we got that Electric Typing for uh, that Tapu Fini. And that Water Typing for the, uh, the, what's it called? The Rotom Heat. I'm liking this. I really am liking this. Let's, let's roll Ampharos. Let's get Ampharos. Oh, baby. We're looking to just five boost right off the rip. Hopefully, he doesn't lead the Finny. I do not see him really leading the Finny. I really don't. But we do have Electric Move, which is awesome. I love the moveset that uh, that Arcanine can actually move. He can learn a Fighting Move, an Electric Move, obviously a Fire Stab Move. And he can also learn a Fairy Move, which is actually really, really well. You see, use that uh, moveset a lot. I have, like, something, like, stuck in my throat. It feels like a piece of like, I don't even know what it is, but it's bothering me. Just something in my throat, man. I feel like I'm gonna cough like when I start talking, but we're rolling here. It goes uh, Thunderous and Grimmy Poo, which I'm definitely just gonna beat up on my Arcanine. I don't think he can like follow me or anything. And I think I just Dynamax and I set the uh, I set the heat. Who do I take out? Who do I take out? Where do I get the attack boost? Now we don't need the attack boost. We're gonna be justified. Uh, I say we go after Thunderous. What other Pokemon do you have? I say we just go after Thunderous. I think it's probably Thunderous. Roll with that one, and then I can start pestering with Paralyze and all that good stuff. Here comes my Dynamax. He's gonna Dynamax as well. He's gonna Dynamax as well. Okay. Hopefully he goes after Pult. Pult is Sash, and then we get off a nice little uh, T Wave, but he's probably gonna. Yeah, Thunder is definitely getting a Dynamax. <clears throat> and then he's going to uh, probably set up a screen with Grimstar. That's what I think is happening. Or he might just Paralyze. Let's just see what, he, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Let's get my boy Arcanine out here. It's pretty crazy how fast the, uh, the Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus actually are. They're so good. They're so good. They hit hard. They have nice speed. And then their movesets are phenomenal. And they also have the flying type, and so they can't really get hit by ground. Well, they can't get hit by ground type. Oh, which is amazing. This just rocks out really, really well. And then Electric doesn't affect Landorus, which is awesome. Like, he's just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Reflect does get set up. I kind of saw that coming. And then I think this thing's going to go after the Pult. Hopefully it goes after the Pult. Pult's going to actually outspeed. We're going to be able to get off the beat up. We're going to go plus four on that attack force. That's that's pretty big. That's pretty big. But yeah, like I was saying in the beginning of this video, I think I said it in the intro, that uh, this was big back in the day. Justified Arcanine. It was huge. It was huge when this game first started out. I remember everybody was using it. It was just rocked out. Like, you just couldn't really beat it. You go Wimscott into this, beat it up, and then roll out from there. Wimscott can set up the Tailwind afterwards, you just sash it up, and then, you, then you're fine. Or you just charm the opponent, like, you're thriving with it. It was so, it was so good, because there wasn't that many Pokemon to really counter it. But we're hit four times, we're boosting out, and he's going to go for an Airstream. He's going to get a speed boost of his own. Go after Pult, please. He's going to go after Arcanine. We're going to be able to eat that up, no problem. And I can actually slow uh, somebody down after this. Do we think we're going to pick up the KO? I hope we pick up the KO. I think Thunderous will outspeed us uh, if it survives here. That's plus one. Can we pick up the KO? Take it out, please. Oh my lord. What you mean? Quick question. What do you mean? Things are one. Uh, do I ally switch? Yeah, I guard. I cannot guard. Bro, what do you mean? I think I got the ally switch. Like, like, dude, are you kidding me? This thing's on one. This thing is legit on one. I have to take it out. Bro, <laughs> what you mean, dude? Oh my god. Say yeah, Alice switch here. And I do some damage over onto this thing. Onto the Grimstar. I'll try to take that thing out. This thing's on one HP! I need that thing dead! He's gonna guard. We made a nice little play here. I like it. I like the play. I really do like the play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now he does know we have Alice, which we are gonna be able to take out the Grimstar, no problem. He's probably gonna set up a light chain. Oh no, he's just gonna T-wave. Oh, and you were T-waving into my into my pole. You were T-waving into my Pult. So, he's thinking Pult still outspeeds. Which I would like. If Pult still outspeeds, that's wonderful. Grimstar was down for the count. 
Once that thing moves, he's dead. He's gonna die to life orb damage. Does pull out speed? That's a, that's a good question. Maybe he thinks I'm gonna ally switch again. He's gonna go in the Rotom, and that's that's a little scary. A little, actually, no. Uh, Arcanine might be able to outspeed that thing. Let me check out Arcanine's speed. Arcanine, what's your speed at, boy? What's your speed at, boy? Did I bring Rotom Wash? 161. Did I bring my Wash? I did, so I can actually check my speeds. 161 to 151. Is this thing uh, boosting speed? It is fully boosting speed. And what's its ability? Um, okay. So as long as this thing's not Scarf, we should be fine. We should be thriving with this one. But hopefully he thinks I'm going to go into a... Uh, Hey, what's it called? Actually, should I strike or should I knuckle? I think striking will be better. Lower their speed stats. Hopefully, he thinks I'm gonna go into an ally switch. I'm gonna at least try taking this thing out with a beat up. <laughs> like, all you need to do is one damage. I don't, but I don't know if Pulse gonna outspeed. Yeah, see, Pulse doesn't outspeed. But he thinks I'm ally switching. But he thinks I'm ally switching. So, that should be a big damage. That should be big uh, points here. Thunder's gonna go down to, uh, actually, Life Orb. And what time is going to get speed, and now what's called let's go down. And now what's called will go down. Unless he's uh, thinking uh, Rotom was just going to take out with a Hydro Bomb. Let's see. Rotom should be able to outspeed now. At least my Arcanine. I'm going to do a little bit of damage on this thing. I wish I would have went into a Phantom Force. Or at least uh, Paralyzed. I should have probably Parried. But I was, I was kind of hoping the Pulse could just outsped. Oh, this thing is plotting. Okay, you can plot. You can plot. I like that. I'm fine with that because my boy outspeed you. My Dragon Bolt. And here comes a nice max strike. Plus four, I think this KOs, right? I think it's KOs, right? Even though it's not sad, it does not. But it does lower speed back down, so which means my Arcanine is faster. Or not my Arcanine, my Arcanine is paralyzed. Arcanine is paralyzed. So I'm gonna drop into a Phantom Force. And try to get rid of that Rotom. I think that's fine, because my Dragon Bolt's gonna be fast on the field. Rotom is just plotted up. I keep I keep forgetting my boy's paralyzed right here. He goes into Finny. Totally fine by me. That's a surge. Definitely gotta drop into Phantom Force. And then, um, hmm. And then maybe try to get off a of Lightning. And hope. Which is maybe hope we get this. I actually could go for an extreme speed. Which is exactly what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for an extreme speed. I am gonna drop a Phantom Force here. Into the Rotom slot. Into the Rotom slot. That thing's gonna need to go. But I still have my Rotom, uh, I wrote I'm watching the back end. Stream speed, does that KO? It does, yes sir, yes sir. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Phantom Force, we're dropping. Hopefully Finny's starting to move us, but I could see it going for Muddy Water. Let's see what it does. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, it's going in there. That side, he thought I was Alex switching. That's fine, we still eat. We still eat. All day, baby. We eating out here, yo. Your boy's rolling. Your boy's rolling. The Justified Combo is rocking out pretty strong. Oh, and that's his last Pokemon. Gotta drop a Wild Charge. Gotta drop a Wild Charge here. Game's over. Battle's canceled. Let's get it. 2-0, baby. Look how intimidating this guy's team is. He's got Metagross, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Tapu Fini, Dragonite, and Wimsky. That team is looking absolutely devastating. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Just a Pokemon there looks like they're just ready to merc on me. But we got a match Talon here. I already know that. Wimsky's going to come out here. Um, I think we go... Not Wimscott. I meant Talon going to come out for me. Uh, I think we got to get Rotom out here. It's two special attackers. Or, no, yeah, Dragonite's uh, physical, so we can burn that. I'm gonna go Rotom. I'm gonna go Rotom for lead. I feel like that's nice. And then if he wants to drop my special attack or my physical attack with an Intimidate, that's fine by me. We're gonna go Landorus. And then I think Metagross. That's play. I think that is the play. And I said we get rolling with it. I said we do it. I said we do him dirty. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. We could actually we do not have a fake out user, which stinks. If he leads Wimscott, I could, if that thing's not Sash, but I could totally be in Sash, because I don't see any other Pokemon being Sash besides maybe the Tapu Koko? Tapu Koko could be Sash. But I'm thinking Wimscott has a Sash. And I, I was thinking of just dropping like a Brave Bird and trying to KO that thing and getting after it, but I don't think that's the play. It really depends what he's going to go out into. It really, it really depends what he has. I have my safety goggles on. I cannot put my boy to sleep. I absolutely love safety goggles. I really do. I think it's such a good item, especially for like a Pokemon like Talonflame. Like, I feel like they were made for Talonflame. But we're wrecking out here. The first guy canceled before we even did the turn. Second battle, we absolutely dominated with Justified. And this guy's doubling up with the Toppers? Okay. I see you. I see you doubling up with the Toppers. I think I definitely... Oh, that electric. Now it's going to change to the Misty Surge. going to change to the Misty Surge. Um... 
Do we let my Talon Flame go out? The Talon Flame's dead. Missy C's are popping for special defense, right? Okay. Do we let my Talon Flame go out for a Talon? I think that's a fine play to make. I think that's a totally fine play to make, and I think we just drop this right here. And we go for T Bolt. I think that's well worth it. But you never see a double top of leap? A double top of leap? I'm a fan. I'm a fan of seeing something different. But yeah. I think uh, Tapu Koko definitely takes out Talon Flame here. But I think it's worth it to get off that Tailwind and then roll on to one of our stronger Pokemon like Landers or Metagross. Let's see what happens. Tailwind's popping, obviously. Both times should be able to go first. I do not think we're going to KO this uh, Vinny, but we're still going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. It is plus one on special defense. Yeah, see, that thing's uh, pretty bulky right now. And he's going to Volt Switch out. Can you eat? Can you eat, please? I love you, Talon Flame. Oh, this thing might go for a Muddy Water. This thing might go for a Muddy Water. Don't go for Muddy Water. Go for like a Moon Blast or something into my Rotom. Leave my Talon Flame alone. Because if Talon Flame could get off another turn, I would actually really, really like that. Dragon Age is going to come out here. I'm definitely going to burn that. Definitely got to put a burn on that thing. Muddy Water's popping. Biscuit. Biscuit. Definitely got to put a burn on that. And I just think we get out Lando. Do we get out Landers? I think Landers is a fine little Pokemon to get out there. Nice big physical attacker with a Life Orb and a Dynamax. Got the Rock, too. We do have the Rock. Hmm. Who do I really want out here? I say we go Landers. I say we Dynamax Landers. I'm trying to think. He has a Water Typing. But I'm going to be able to outspeed and probably dump on that thing. And get a Speed Boost. I really do like it. Or I can get Special Defense. I think I'm going to get Special Defense Boost and get that Stab rolling. And then just burn on the Dragonite. I think that's totally fine. I think that's a good play to make. But my boy coming out here, looking all spiffy, looking all shiny. Intimidate's coming out here as now, as well with the inner focus. Kind of saw that. I think it's inner focus, not multi skill. That's actually good for us. I kind of like that. I like that deal. But definitely Dynamax. We are going to Quake. Rock Falls only super, like, super effective inside Dragonite. I'd rather Quake get the special defense boost, and then Will O' Wisp just throw a burn over on Dragonite. I think that's the play to make. But I think this Max Quake definitely takes out uh, Finny. Okay, swap Finny. Go into Coco or something. Don't go into Flying Pokemon. I guess an instant one. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. That's Stab. Super effective damage right there. Intimidate's gonna come out here. Minus one us. I'm, again, I'm fine with that. I think it kind of just neglects uh, our Life Orb. We're still gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage here. Here goes my Dynamax. Is he gonna Dynamax to what's going on? I can see him Dynamax Dragonite next turn. I'm just going for a Fake Out. Actually, he might be dead. He might be dead, but that minus one is actually pretty big. So I'm just gonna keep boosting our special defense. He does have the top of Finny and Coco in the back end. So if I can just keep boosting our special defense, we should be thriving. Here. And get rid of this Incineroar and Dragonite. Or just put a burn on Dragonite. Because if we put a burn on Dragonite, we're going to be thriving. And he is going to Dynamax. He is going to Dynamax. It, which is awesome. Because once this burns on him, that's just huge. That is awesome. It's great. It's just... It just halves his physical attack. It's like, Dragonite's physical, right? I believe so. He learns, like, Dragon Call off Fly. They're all physical moves, so... Let's get after it. Let's see what he's gonna do. I go first with my Quake. Quake popping. Give me that special defense boost. And this should be able to take out Incineroar, I'm thinking. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here! So either Pokemon he swapped into, whether it was Coco or uh or Incineroar, they were just getting dumped on. There goes my special defense boost. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yo, your boy's playing great today. He's playing great today. Give me the burn. Land, please. Land. I need you to land, Willowis. I love you. I love you. Yeah! how it's done. That's how it's done, baby. Here goes the oh, hell sword. Going for that hell sword. Not even stab. We should be able to eat that up. Should be able to do like not as much. See, that thing usually hits like a truck, but with that going on, we're able to eat up. Right, we still have Metagross in the back end, which I absolutely love. And we still have, I think, one more turn left in Talon, so I kind of got to make a call here. I do have an ice move with Metagross. Buffets are popping, and then he gets burned as well. Uh, do I change the weather to actually uh, rock? I don't want to hit that thing. I think it might be a uh, weakness policy. And I can definitely see it be weakness policy. But I really don't want to go into it. I kind of just want to keep dumping on that other side. And just keep doing pester damage over onto that, uh, that, what's it called? Do I change that weather, though? No. Let me just quake up against this spinny. Hmm. So we just keep doing pester damage over on the Dragonite. I really don't want to trigger that policy. He's definitely weakness policy. Then he might protect though, but we're gonna go after Dragonite. This is not. He does not guard or anything. No protects. I think this KOs him, right? Quick. Oh, we should have doubled. We should have doubled. 
Buffets, will Buffets take that out? I don't think Buffets will take that out. But what's called is definitely dead here. Landers. Landers is definitely dead here. T-Bolt comes out here. Doing a little bit of damage. I thought that that Quake would be able to KO. We get a crit though. I like that. I like that a lot. Moonblast from the Finny. No time should be able to eat. Probably trigger berry, right? Are we buried here? Yeah, we're citrus. Give me my berry. Thank you very much. We're getting a special defense boost, which are out of this world. I'm going to try to get another one off. Hopefully, he doesn't. He is going to pick up the cat here. That's bad. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Picks up the KO. Metagross coming out here. Do I have one more turn left to tell one? I don't think I do. Was he went Talon Flame into two turns, or was that my third turn? No, that was two turns. We might have one more turn to tell one. I would like. Take out, take out. Do not. Do not take out. There's the burn damage. I really do like that. The Metagross is going to have to clutch up for us. If we have one more turn left in Tailwind, we're thriving. We should be thriving. Here. Oh, if we show it to me, baby. Show me that Tailwind turn. Okay, we got another Tailwind turn. Alright. Hmm. So, Tabu Finney does go down to the... Uh, I could protect. I could double protect here. I can't protect Metagross. I think I double protect. I think that's a fine play to do. Have Tapu Finny go out, but then, but then the Tailwind. I said we eat whatever Tapu Finny has to offer, and we double up in the Dragonite slot. What did I protect in my Metagross? Ah! I want to go in Ice Punch. I thought, mmm. Big mistake, guys. It's a big mistake. Ah, oh, man. Unless, unless Dragonite has Quake on him, which he might. He might, and he Quakes on my Metagross and triggers my policy. I do not like. I wish I would have shot the nice punch. So I want the ice punch and just double up in that. Do as much damage as I can. We protect. Oh my lord, man! What am What am I doing? No time's eating that up all day. He's plus two. And go after my metagross, please. Yes, yes, I like that a lot. Should be able to eat up. There goes my policy, baby. There goes my policy. That's that. I'll take that. Is it not hail? Oh no, it's not hailing anymore. That's whack. But that thing drops down. Uh, I can ice punch that thing. That thing's dead to an ice punch. And uh, Rotom should be able to just take out top of the thing. Man, I wanted that thing to go down to the buffets, but he changed weather. I mean, I'm fine with that. If we take how much damage? Look how much damage we took. 16 for a weakness policy trigger. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Ice punch drops this thing. T-Bolt comes out to the left side. If we if we can just if one of our Pokemon survives here, I think we win this game. And we get a double kill, that's what I'm thinking. Finny protect. Fine by me. Fine by me. Finny can protect all day. Again, we're plus two on the special attack board for my Rotom. And then what is Dragonite? Dragonite's gonna go for a fire punch. We should be able to eat this up, right? Oh my god, dude. Metagross is such a tank. This is why I was like, let's Dynamax out Landers instead of Metagross. Like Metagross can just just do his own thing. Without even Dynamax. It's so bulky, so big. We're thriving this match. We got this one. We got this one, baby. Loving it. Loving it. I mean, Tapu Koko is fairy and electric, so he's not going to be able to take out my Metagross. My Metagross should be able to drop a nice little iron head on it. Do some big damage. Or Meteor Mash. What move do we have? He goes Coco Beans. How's it going, Mr. Coco? And Electric Surge is going to pop. We're going to send Rotom over on, on that left side. And Rotom shouldn't go down here anytime soon. He has plus two on special attack. We thrive and I could oh I could drop an EQ. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're levitating. I'm just gonna EQ and double up into you. That's a play. That is a play. Yeah, EQ baby. Totally forgot about that. But yo, we're gonna go 3-0 in today's videos. Love to see. Even though first one was just like quick cancel. Still 3-0. Still victory. Still victory. Volt switch coming here. We eating, baby. Hydro pump. I'm gonna do a little bit of damage here. And no way you're taking out my Metagross. So that's, that's GG. That is GG. Moonblast coming. Probably over on the Rotom slot. We eating, baby. We eating. EQ comes out. Levitate. Double kill for the win. This should be able to pick up the double kill easily, right? Get him out of my face. Yo, we running good today. We played so well today. First battle, they just canceled. Second battle, we absolutely rolled out with Just Fight. And this one, we just played really, really well in general. Getting that burn off and Dynamax Landers and rolling out from there.
Jacob, shout out to you for dropping an absolute banger of a team right here. We dominated. It is a rather shorter video considering that first match was just like a, little, like a little cancellation, but we still rocked out and got to show off this team to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.